MK Scrapper UK here bringing you our latest finds. So, uh, this little metal, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Some sort of stand, another boiler, just a small one, still heavy though. Uh, some wiry bits, two smashed TVs, the screens are smashed, but we might still be able to salvage parts. A couple of pots and pans here, can use them for my plug soup. A uh, broken hoover, another hoover, uh, lawnmower, microwave. Uh, this was my old man's, he started stripping it for the motor and the cable. And I don't know if you can see, but up the top of the garden there, a uh, smashed up gazebo. Uh, that's what I've got around here anyway. So that's just some of the finds from, from this area. And I've got uh, another lawnmower at home, another broken gazebo and another TV. Uh, which also has a broken screen, so all three with broken screens. But we might be able to salvage them for parts, so that's okay. And uh, we'll have fun with that in another video. Uh, I'll link another video on the end of this one. So thank you for joining me, and please like, share, and subscribe. I know, this is the other gazebo. It's all broken up. My man thinks this is only looks a bit rusty there to me, so I'm not so sure. I have to get a magnet on it. Uh, this is the uh, lawnmower I got. This one had the basket with it. But I did notice that the cable's all done here. So what we'll do is we'll cut it short where the cable is connected. Put a plug on it and uh, to test it. And if it works, we'll just replace that cable. And uh, then we can sell it. It's got the back box on it. So that'll be... Nice and easy to sell. And, and this is the other broken telly. Big old smash in the screen right there. So that's three tellies today. Two lawnmowers, two gazebos broken, probably in the winds from last week or the week before. We had a little bit of a storm. Miscellaneous bits of metal. And another boiler. So lots of fun coming up. Stay tuned to uh, see it, and I'll try to link another video at the end of this one. Okay, we're attacking the scrap pile once more. I'd just like to apologise for not bringing you a video yesterday. Uh, I almost didn't bring you one today either, because, you know, it's my birthday. So, my birthday wish is for you to like, share and subscribe. And that'd be a great little present. Thank you. I'd also like to say thank you. I've got a couple of more subscribers in the past few weeks. I just want to say thank you to them. And I'd like to say thank you to my existing subscribers as well for not leaving me. So, thanks. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's see what's in this uh, Dell PC. I've got no top to it. so And it's a Windows Vista. So, I wouldn't reload this one. Anyway. So, there we go. Right. Let's have a little bit. There we go. So first things first, let's get our DVD drive. Uh, we'll micro scrap this with a few of the other power supplies and DVD drives later on. Okay. sharp edges sometimes so. sort of cable keep some of these sometimes you never know when they come in handy not all the time just sometimes OK, 
Okay, one power supply. Like I said, we'll be stripping them down later. Goes with our other cables. Okay. There we go. Aluminum heat sink. I suppose you could get aluminum copper rad. Bit of plastic, I don't want that. Recycling. Alright. Copper plate on the bottom. through the middle. I think we can probably get that out. Not right now, but when we get to these, when we start separating all our aluminum or aluminium or alley, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's what we'll do. I think I prefer saying aluminum to aluminium. It's easier to just say Ali, of course. Okay, I think this one's a dual core again. Yeah. So underneath we got gold, gold pin contacts. These are like little gold dots. There's actually not a lot of gold recovery in these. This is a copper top. Yeah, dual core. Bit odd now, but it's all right. Okay. Yes. There we go. See, you can see. Got a gold trace in there, little cold corner there. But apparently, they're hard to get the gold from like I said apparently I was thinking surely if you crush them up enough in the grind this thing you might be able to Just be catching. And there we go. Right, that's the board out. And we'll take that battery out as well. Little lithium battery. Okay. We'll go with our circuit boards and um, we've got loads of circuit boards to process just so you know <laughs> uh, so we've got these pins not 100 short oh, i think that's dead fly could have been yep yeah, it's dead fly anyway just slightly gold plated on pcs i can't remember right now for the uh laptops but it's okay, we still got gold pins here, gold pins on the side connections. I see gold pins there, gold pins in there. Should be gold pins along here as well, but like I said, I think they're only slightly covered. Gold pins there, there. And we've got some copper coils that we can see. 
any hidden copper. Uh, what is that? I'm not sure we'll have to cut it open. I'm not sure we'll look at it. Vertivox. Uh, that's that anyway. Where are my boards gone? Damn it. Alright, we'll keep that over here for a minute. Okay, so I'm still not finished. Got a nice bit of fan here. That's what it looks like. Speaker. I've got a bag full of laptop speakers. I'm wondering if it's worth chasing the copper in the tiny, tiny speaker. Because I've I ripped this one open earlier. Little circle ring of copper there. I'm just wondering if it was worth my time. I mean, it was very, very little. Very, very little. Let's rip this one open. So, I mean, that, there it is. There's your copper, that tiny little, little ring there. I don't know if there's any more in there. I have to look into that more before I uh, scrap them all. Some people will scream at me, of course it's worth it. This is where we have a bit of fun. How was it connected? Can I get it off? Is the real question. Not without a small screwdriver. Get a gold pin in there. Just a tiny little bit of gold pinage. Yeah. Not a lot, but we're still going to get it. Okay, so this is mostly plastic here, so I'm just going to. gold pins inside and the white ones usually ain't so we'll keep that for now Process later. Let's see. If we can just bend this out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so what have we got on this one? Got some light gold pinage there. 
capacitors. Sometimes these jacks have some gold pins in, sometimes they don't, like slightly gold plated. And the USBs gold plated as well. I doubt it. I doubt it, but I'm gonna look. And that is ready for the scrap pile. Now, what's the next one? is an Alba DVD but the, the lead's been cut off it's in actually pretty good condition I'm not sure if I cut the lead off or if someone else cut the lead off it was probably me <laughs> probably me if it weren't in poor condition like that I probably would have tested it you know, a little clean three quid on the market I'll pause what let me undo these screws and we'll get it. Okay, there we go, right. I think I've got them all off. No, I can actually see one. Damn it. It's always the way. Always miss a few screws. God, I've left a couple on the side. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice bit of sheet there. There's our power cable. There, there we go. All right. I'll have to get this off this wind. I could break this, but you know, it'd be sharp, so I don't want to. <laughs> there we go. Cut that, and that'll be sharp. Just throw it in your, in your light metal. There we go, that's, that's done. Okay, so what we got? Our 
power board on a main board and this power board. Let's get that first. Let's get that off first. Okay. See the silver in there? Not worth chasing. That can go. Once we get all the wire out of the way, we can see. Okay, so this one goes into the DVD. to the on off switch over here okay let me pause while and do some screws again and i'm probably going to make myself a cup of tea as well power switch is here that's got power cable goes from here to there right now you can see better typical uh, let me pause okay we take off our boards now so First things first, let's look under this. No, silver. My phone just buzzed. Uh, I think that was someone wishing me a happy birthday. <clears throat> right. Uh, da, 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 da. ICs. Don't know if I point to that one, but there it is. And. I think that's it. Can't see anything in there. Now what we'll do, we'll just try and rip out the back of it. Because if one hasn't got it, you can bet you the rest ain't. Yeah, see, that's all silver. So that's, that's not worth taking off either. Uh, the only thing worth taking off is these. To me. Oh, that's crystal there. Didn't see that. Nice big one. Right. So, I mean, that you can get off straight away this one. Bang, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> well, another board anyway. Let's look at this one. That's a weird fuse there. It kind of encases. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the fuse is normal. That I thought that was glass for a second there. Okay. Oh, the standard power board, really. Very little bit of copper on this one. Just wondering if there's a silver contacts in there or what to is it? There to there, there to there. Run that across all of them there. And there we go. Yeah, uh, yeah, very little, little, very little recovery for us on this one, but that's okay. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Ribbon cable. Motor. Mm, they do not look like brass at all. But we'll test them anyway. Motor there. That 
should be another motor there. Oh, and there's another motor there. Three little motors. Okay. I'll rip that apart in another video, anyway. Okay. We've got one more board here. Uh, I believe that's a button board. Oh, not many buttons, but still. And our switch. I'll pause why I unscrew them. Okay, first things first, we'll look at the... Uh... Oh, come on. Button board. There we go. Alright, so we've got one button here. A couple of buttons here. And some wire. Say brown board, very low recovery. So, okay, that's our switch. We're gonna rip this open in a minute. I'll say in a minute, I'm doing it right now. It's a spring in here. There we go. Okay. I know, it's terrible. Okay, we're free. There we go. Right, so first things first, cut off our cable. close to the end as I can, if I can, there we go, let's have a quick look at this switch, Still no silver contact. Come on. Nope. Stop making my that spring. Looks like it might be brass. Uh, where's my magnet? No, it's magnetic. Right. Ah, there it is, finally. Oh, getting worried, dead. Okay. That there is our silver contact. Awesome. Oof. I want to see what else is in there. See if there's anyone. You never know. Another one there. So I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, a tiny, tiny little 
dot if the camera would focus. There we go. Well, there we go. So, and that is that. So, tomorrow we'll hit these two. Let's say uh, another DVD and the DVD VCR that you did see me get. And uh, that actually looks in good condition. I might test it. <laughs> I know I said they're obsolete, which they pretty much are, but some people still collect these things. They still watch videos. Who does that these days? Uh, I'm just rambling now. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, my birthday wish is for more subscribers. So please tell your friends. And thank you.